but I've always had a passion for journalism. Introduce yourself. <laughs> well, I am a native New Yorker, born in Queens, raised in Staten Island, high school in Manhattan, college at Syracuse University. And um, currently I'm in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I have a, a goal of 25 and 25, <clears throat> excuse me, by 2025, which means 25 international destinations in 25 months by calendar year 2025. And I am enjoying the experience. Really? Okay. Okay. Because I... explain to them how we met, because that was that's real important to the rest of what we're going to talk about. Um, well, I believe uh, I had just gone on, I think, Facebook, because at that time I was in the Philippines, and um, usually I spend a, a month in an international location, but I had decided to spend two months in the Philippines. And I believe I had uh, done a post in one of the uh, group, group pages on, in, um, in Facebook, and I met Lud Listera, and then uh, we just did, we agreed to meet for lunch at, in a city that I had not been in the Philippines. I had gone to <clears throat> Cebu, Boracay, uh, Dawis, and um, Manila, and Bonifacio. And uh, so I'm trying to remember the city that we met in. <laughs> It was Cebu. It was Cebu. It, okay. Because okay. right. I'd actually spent a few weeks in Cebu. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pick it up from there, okay? Lud and I met okay. as the result of Brothers in the Philippines. It's a group of men who've gotten together mm -hmm. to form a support group for people traveling to Cebu, Philippines to have them some boots on the ground. And Lud happened to see you on Facebook. And Lud and I were supposed to be getting together to go to his house. And he called me and said that I want to go meet you. And I said, <laughs> wow, this is, this is a heck of a coincidence, but that's the way God works. He's like, he'll bring people together in such unusual ways. You know, and I said, I picked up on that deal. I really did. I really picked up on that. I said, wow, God is up to something. Let me just follow through on this. So mm -hmm. that's the rest of the story. And then we went to lunch and that's when I found out about your, your brand challenge. What do you do? What is your career path? What is it? I saw all the letters behind your name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually went to high school and college for broadcast journalism, but uh, I spent one one year in radio in a small little city outside of Sacramento, California, called Vacaville, Vacaville, California, which is actually. Spanish for Cowtown, USA. <clears throat> but um, kind of long story short, right after that, I began working in human resources. And so my career in HR has spanned um, almost four decades. I say I started when I was two, but I just told you I started right after college. So you, pretty quickly you can fill, uh, figure out my age. But so my background as far as profession is human resources, but I've always had a passion for journalism. And so even though I was in radio, I said, you know, I was in the wrong end of the business. I was in marketing, radio sales is actually what it was. And that that's just not my wiring in terms of personality and where my skills are in terms of sales. But um, throughout my HR career, actually my first stint in HR, um, I went on a management rotational development program 
And the first stop was in HR. And I was told, oh, well, you were a journalism major. You can edit our newsletter, our news magazine. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm back in HR. I'm not, not only in HR, but I'm back in journalism. And so throughout my HR career, I've always written, whether it be policies and procedure manuals or job aids or training documents. And so uh -huh. I've always stayed connected. And then I, I went the publishing route um, and had a passion, real passion for helping other people find out not just how to write, but how to publish. So, you know, my my background is has been, like I said, professionally human resources, but journalism, I call journalism is sort of the umbrella to what I do as well. Other things that I do. Yeah, you, you know, we're now getting in depth into what you do. So you, you're really a, a an on air talent. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh oh, really the you path you're trying there. to go. Huh? One more time. You said well, what? You were trying to be an on air talent, a broadcast journalist. Oh, you know, um, I had ambitions of being a news reporter slash news anchor. Like I said, I went to both high school. Um, at that time, it was called uh, New York School of Printing, and they had a journalism division. And then I went to Syracuse, um, SI Newhouse School of Public Communications for news reporting. But in terms of that, an actual career, full-time career in um, broadcasting, that's not the path that I went. However, I have had a live radio broadcast program when I lived in Orlando, Florida. I had that for five and a half years and that kind of segued okay. into internet television. But um, when I moved um, <laughs> or shifted, because I, I enjoyed doing live radio okay. and I really didn't particularly take to doing pre-recorded. And I know that's, you know, that's still within the scope of, of broadcasting, but I got away from it for a little bit after moving. So where do you want it to go now? Well, right now, I will, I will tell you, my focus is really on a, a report. I'm not going to go into detail about uh, an assignment that I'm on right now. Don't worry but, about it. So my focus probably, I, I say until the end of March, but I'm hoping that it will wrap up <laughs> very soon. And so that's my focus. But as you know, I've kind of dibbled and dabbled in with YouTube and with Instagram and Facebook as far as posting my journey as I've been traveling throughout Southeast Asia. But you notice some, I noticed something is that becomes a business. If you really want to have a robust um, experience on YouTube, you work it like a business. And right now in the season of my life, I, I don't have that time to dedicate fully to running or a YouTube channel as a business. Okay. See, this is what intrigued me when we were sitting there having lunch. I recognize you talking about HR and coaching people, professionals, and my background. Is, is is as a brand strategist and digital marketing engineer, okay? Now, I've been doing in IT since I was 16. I've been doing this for 40 years, all right? And the thing that stood out to me is that as your personal brand, this is what I picked up on, you were doing a personal brand challenge and you were putting it out on the internet. The similarities is I came to Cebu, Philippines to do the same thing. I issued a brand challenge for my digital marketing company, Serial Design FX, and that's what this is all about. I'm over mm -hmm. here launching a, a separate brand because I have a digital marketing consulting arm, and this was something to bring brand awareness, life in the Philippines, being a true digital nomad, and you're absolutely correct, it's, it's a business. I'm sitting up here at 10 o'clock at night, I'll be doing all kinds of hours. 
and you're absolutely correct, but I love what I do. You got to love this, for real. It's not something that, um, if, it's, if it's not in your passion, I don't suggest it for anyone. It's just that yeah. I've been in, I've been a photographer and all the creative arm for a long time. And this is just a, a combination of a lot of my skill set. Right. So now, back to you. That's how we cross, okay? That's mm -hmm. how we crossed. That's how we met. So where are you on your 25, 25, and 25? Where are you in that process? <laughs> well, I'm now into my eighth month of travel, and I've been to seven countries. Um, but I, my, my plan was to be in Hong Kong <laughs> in February but I checked out the weather and it was still winter there. And I was like, I'm not ready to give up my flip-flops because I gave away all my winter clothes when I wound up, well, my first major stop was Thailand. I gave away my rain boots, raincoat, shoes. I gave away everything. So basically I have flip-flops and one pair of sneakers. And I think I've worn one of my sneakers like three times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's hard to it's it's hard to go back to winter clothes at least for now. You know, maybe eventually, but um, no, I you know what I do also as I travel, I choose destinations. Right now, it's Southeast Asia, <clears throat> but I'm a brand a professional branding specialist. But I so do it for LHH Lee Heck Harrison. Um, but I, so I invest about 20 hours a week, but most of my clients are in the U S so I work based on U S time zone, you know, and as you're aware, uh, over here, I'm in Indochina time zone, which is 11 hours ahead of the Eastern time zone. But, um, I do, I help individuals, actually it's professionals, executives, mainly executives who are transitioning. Um, from one company. So they're in that career transition mode. They've been impacted um, by a workforce reduction, by a layoff. And so I actually work with them on rebranding because a lot of my clients, um, they have been with the same organization for many years. You know, sometimes you can say five, like I'm talking like 10, 20, 30 years. And as I mentioned, I started in HR nearly four decades ago, and things have considerably changed as far as how you market yourself professionally, even how you apply for jobs. So I really partner with them on uh, positioning their brand and really introducing them to the newer ways of applying for opportunities, which is what we call making them uh, introducing them to the applicant tracking system to ensure that their resumes get through that process. So, so.